Quiz Automatic Grading If you want to assess learners formatively or summatively with questions for which there are specified answers, Moodle's very powerful quiz enables you to do this. We can only look at a few of the features of the quiz in this screencast, but it's worth exploring more yourself and in the Moodle documentation. Quiz allows you to use different types of questions, not just multiple choice. And it also allows you to add, as here, media, images, video, sound files as part of your questions. If we go to our course and see how to add a quiz, the first thing to note is that in the More link from the gear menu, we can access the question bank. When a quiz is created in Moodle, you create the questions separately and store them separately, so they can be reused by you in a later quiz or by your colleague in the same course in a different quiz. So if you wish, you could start by adding your quiz questions to this question bank here and then make a quiz another day. But we'll make our quiz straight away. So to do that, we turn on the editing and then in the section we want the quiz, we click Add an activity or resource. This takes us to Moodle's activity chooser and we scroll down to Quiz. Quiz is an activity because the learners are interacting with it. If we click it once, we get information as to how best to use a quiz and then we can click the Add button. Or if we understand about a quiz and don't need to read the information, we simply click the radio button twice and this will bring up the setup screen. The first thing that we do is create the front page, if you like, of the quiz. The name and the description which quiz learners will see, and if you want the description to appear on the course page, just tick the box, display description on course page. There are many different settings in a quiz, and it is worth exploring all of them. If there's anything you're not sure of, the question mark help icon gives you extra information. For now, we're just going to click Save and Display and we have a blank quiz and what we need to do is to start adding some questions, which we can do by clicking the button Edit Quiz or Edit Quiz from the gear menu. We then see Add and if we already have questions, we could add a random question to our quiz or a particular question from the question bank, which we might have added to earlier, or a colleague might have added to earlier. But we are starting a new from nothing, so let's click to add a new question. We are then presented with a list of question types to choose from, and just like with the activity chooser, if we click the button next to the question type, we are presented on the right with some information as to what that question type does. And note that although most of these questions are questions where you provide the answer, it is possible by choosing essay to have learners typing an essay which we would then manually have to grade. Note also there is a description question. This isn't a question type as such, it's just a text editor into which we could add an explanation, some instructions, images, videos or sound. For the purposes of this quiz, I'm just going to add a multiple choice question. We are then sent to the setup for this particular question. We have to give it a name, although the name doesn't appear in the quiz, but it's important because it's how it would be recognised in the question bank in the future, particularly if we have a lot of questions ourselves and perhaps shared with colleagues. In the question text, that is where we type the actual question, and then when we scroll down, what we see will depend on the question type, but we'll always be able to add general feedback for any question, and then in the answers, because it's multiple choice, we add the first possible answer with the grade. None, we add none if the question is wrong, or 100% if it's right. However, there are, as you can see, options in between. We can give specific feedback for each individual answer and if we want to do more than just write simple text, we can use the icons in the text editor. So again we write in our other choices, choose the grade and we continue. When we click Save Changes, 
we have our first quiz question, which we can preview by clicking the magnifying glass icon. So we then go on and continue adding questions to our quiz. Finally, looking at a quiz that's already been made, it's easy to change the order of the questions by dragging them up or down and to add or remove page breaks by clicking on the icon and we can divide our quiz up into sections as well.